Zamzam Omar says she used to hear rosy stories about life in refugee camps in Kenya. She arrived at the Dadaab refugee camp with her five children six months ago after a bomb attack near their Mogadishu home injured and traumatized her 10-year-old son. But life here has not been what she expected. We were given only food tokens. We have not been recognized and received refugee IDs or anything else. Omar is among the nearly 100,000 refugees who have fled to Kenya to escape drought and conflict in Somalia. But because Kenya has banned the registration of new refugees at the crowded Dadaab camp, new arrivals have had to live in temporary settlements outside the camp with limited amenities. Most of this land where they are settling uh, lack the basic uh, services. For example, there are, no there are no wash services. In What I mean is that there is no uh, uh, water, uh, there is lack of latrines, uh, sanitation is an issue there. Uh, of course, there are no schools and uh, there are even no, no, no hospitals. So uh, the situation there is, is, is bad. The Kenyan government has periodically threatened to close the Dadaab camps entirely. But now, to ease congestion, the Kenyan government has approved the reopening of two sub-camps that were closed in 2016, E42 and Cambius. Aid agencies say the move is long overdue. WFP is already alerting us that uh, the, 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 their capacities are being overstretched because all those people are coming to already existing camps, um, most of which are now reaching 100,000 each. You know, uh, each of the camps now is close to 100,000 uh, each, whereas the capacity is way below that. And um, they are, WFP is telling us that by February, they won't be able to add more people to the list, which leads us to the necessity of opening new camps. Omar says she is hopeful. I would like space in that new camp where I can get security and basic services like water, shelter, and education for my children. Currently, Kenya's government says only registered refugees will be settled in the new sites. So, unregistered refugees like Omar wait and hope new arrivals will eventually be recognized as refugees too. Kenya is already one of Africa's top refugee hosting countries with over a half a million refugees, mainly from Somalia and South Sudan. Juma Majanga for VOA News, the Dab Refugee Camp, Kenya.